In this video, we will learn this cool typewriting effect using HTML basic CSS using animation and keyframing. So if you want to learn this, keep watching this video, you are going to learn so much. So hey guys, welcome to Webby Digital channel. And in this video, as you can see, we are going to create a typewriting effect to your text right here. So we will be using a HTML, the basic the CSS basic animation using animation property keyframing in this particular video. So you are going to learn so much. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do it because we are going to cover so much about web development, web marketing, social media, etc. in this particular channel. So let's get started. So here, let me just erase that out. So first, what you need to do is go to the codepen.io and there you need to create a code pen. First thing you need to do is go to codepen.io and from there sign up if you want, just create or click on the create pen so from here you will be having the html css and gs and you have a live console here like that so first thing first what you need to do is go to the settings so here your settings you have a html preprocessor so we may need in a upcoming few minutes but we don't need a html preprocessor we will be needing stuff for head to add font to our project so in the css what you need to do is go to the css base and select the normalize so, so normalize is about base is about cross border or cross browser checking so it will be normalized will be enabled for all the leading cross browser compatibility so if you want to learn more about it you can go to the link described in the description box for the w3 schools so here is browser support for animation which is included in the base part so here we have a keyframe properties it is configured with this particular browser so if you are living in 90s so you can be doing it jokes apart so let's get back to our pen so here is the vendor prefixing so if you want to render it from server side so as we are going to do let's click on the auto prefixer if you don't want to render it from the server side or if you want to create it from the client size you should click on the prefix free if you don't neither then you can just click on either but i will be choosing the to prefix a part okay so here is the extra style sheet if you want to enable it in this project you can easily do that but we are not going to do it so just click on the save part. so first things first we need to add some text to our console so let's just create a s1 tag to it so my text will be wow this is some cool type effect also first thing first let's shout out to geoff graham from where i got this inspiration to post and learn from him so that's it so this is actually the pretty cool okay so what you need to do is we need to just center this particular element okay for to do that let me just change the color of the background also for to do that we just need to select the body tag of our project and for the body tag first we need to change our background color and to select the background color how whichever you want but i am just selecting this particular background color of this code pen which i like so what you need to do is either you can inspect element if you don't use the color picker here if you want to find the link of this particular section you can just grab that using our description box just click on this you will get the color code just copy that down and click escape to close that extension so there you go we got the background here and now we need to center these element to here and for that we just need to declare our display property to the flex and now justify content to center so let's see if it's yeah that's cool so if you want to add a padding to it to create a more center to it so now i need to add a padding so top to it such so that it will look just center of our console so padding top let me see 10 rem okay so that's actually more you can use em or you can use a pixel that's entirely upon you so let's just yeah that's cool so we are done for the body part now let's customize our h1 tag so h1 tag is a global so let me just call that out first thing first we need to change the color of our text here and to change the color i like this color or you can just add a white to add the white we have a standard code like that or you can just click on white here so yeah that's fine but if i want to add the color of this you can also add that but let me just go with the white here so either you can just write white or the color code of white the color code of white is very straightforward fff and if you want to add a color code of black it's zero zero so i know it's nothing to add on here so in the next part if you i want to change the font family of this so this is inherited from the server and you can just select any but if you want to get it from the google fonts you what you need to do is go to the google fonts i have already selected this meriwether which is i think the close to typewriting font or something like that so you can just type or select any font you want so i have just selected this meriwether go to the google fonts and search for your fonts 
and it will just revert back all kinds of fonts thousands of fonts included in the google font you can just select any so it's the part of the serif family so let me just copy this font css property and what you need to do is go to the html and go to the settings and for the html settings here is the stuff for the header so for the header i am just linking our google font click save and close and on the next part what we need to do is just copy that particular css property or you can just write for your own so if meriwether fails so it will just link this particular serif because you may be living in the 90s and using the old intel explorer so <laughs> jokes apart again so that's how you can add a font to the code pen and just configure it with your css property so now moving ahead what we need to add a border to it to look like a cursor okay we need a border to end of it to look like a cursor first let's create a border to create a border let's just add one r a m solid and for the border color uh, let me just grab that again yeah so i'm just selecting this particular border color yellow it looks cool copy that down as the hash to it so there you go so yeah it looks cool so what we need is we need only the right part of the border not these part of the border for for that you can just write border right so there you go and this looks weird <laughs> it doesn't look like a cursor to it so to add or reduce the border weight you just need to select like uh, 0.3 rem looks good yeah it looks good so that's it you have added bot right to it and now for the margin part so i don't need a margin of top to bottom or creating the auto for the right to left okay and for the next part what we need to do is we need to add animation so animation property is here what you need to do is we need a two type of animation first is the typing second will be the blinking blinking is for this particular border and typing is for this text okay and for the typing we need to select a time frame time frame is like how many time you want that your animation to happen so let's just say you want a for, for the four seconds so four s is there and now is steps how many steps included in this particular animation and how many steps included is we need one two three because there's how many step is equal to how many characters are there in our text for this particular css animation so what i am going to do is either you can count it yourself like one two three four space you need to count so i am just selecting copy links or search for webby word counter pro search for that in the google so it's our in-house tool to you know check the character here so the character is 74 words we don't care we need to select the number of characters which is 34 so that's how many steps we have towards the end and the next will be our blink carrot for our border part to let them blink and for that how many seconds or you want that transition to happen either blink or non blink so for that i'm just adding the five second okay 0.5 second step and towards the end to the infinite okay that's our animation for our h1 tag let me just close that down a bit to remove the white space so there you go now we are moving towards the keyframing and for the keyframing it's actually very straightforward just add keyframes for a particular element we need to add a keyframe first we need to add a keyframe to typing for the typing part so there you go and now for the keyframe we need from from where it's starting towards the end from and to is two property under this keyframing and from the from part in this particular typing we need from the width we are taking a width to the consideration because it's a line for us so we are taking the width for the consideration and from part we are just adding width to zero we are starting from the zero for the two part we are adding with 100% just like that okay so there you go so it's just start adding animation to it as you can see so don't panic it's not done yet like it's happening here so now in the next part we need to blink this particular border like yeah here so adding a key framing to blink carrot okay and now for the keyframe part, it also needed a from to two and now here from border color transparent obviously we need a transparent for 0.5 seconds right or we add two again so it will give us the transition from the border transparent so it is not saying here why because it, for the 50 percent of the part we need a border color of our border which is here there you go so let's see if it's working oh yeah it's working so now as you can see it's wrapping around uh three or four lines as it's starting like let me just click on enter here as you can see three or four lines are wrapping it out and to reduce that we need some properties to be adding to our h1 first is overflow hidden such that it won't overflow so let's see so yeah and the next part 
we need a white space to be no wrap such that it won't happen like here if we click on C so it will be in the first one line itself so it won't create a two or three lines so this will be for a two or three lines to be no wrap so now if we see the character of these particular lines are actually very close to each other and to add the typing effects to our text we need some space towards each character right if you are writing a sentence you have a pretty enough space right so it is inclined to very close to each other so what we need to do is we need to add a letter spacing let's just add 1.2 rem so yeah it looks cool it looks like it, someone is actually typing it out so that's it what there's one thing which we have here if we just click on the run here as you can see it's the cursor is going towards the end it's because we have selected the pre auto prefixer because it's rendering from the server why it's happening because it's rendering from the server the h1 tag is global okay so h1 tag is global here and if we click on here we click neither and save and close let's see if it's working no it's it's been not working it's just going straight from the end to the end and if we click on the prefix free let's see if it does work no it's not working because h1 is the global tag and it's actually rendering from somewhere so what we need to do is we need to keep it in the child mode and to keep it in the child mode we need a div container to be created in the html part like here to create a, actually a section or a div container however you like div class let's see type effect and now wrap that out around our h1 so now what we need is we need to add that in front of h1 here let's see if it resolved or not oh so maybe something has happened here uh, there's a typo here okay so let's see if it does happen resolved our issue mm -hmm. so yes it resolved our issue so hope you understand how to create such animation and as i said in earlier thanks to geoff graham from where i got the inspiration from see i am not a coder or i am not a front end engineer or anything of sort but i just keep on learning every day new every day and i want to share it with you all some new tricks or some i have already learned in this particular channel so if you want to learn it all these things with me so you just subscribe to my channel and just carry forward our journey from here so if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do it and if you want to learn how to customize these particular element if you want to learn the customization of this to add more customization would like to delete this again and you know the loop effect or some more customization using javascript then you should then please let me know in the comment box so that if there is an interest i will create a tutorial on that too so see you in the next video until then bye bye